Hello, good morning, <laughs> unless you're watching it in the afternoon, of course. We're going to talk about multiplying and dividing integers in this short lesson. We're going to first off show some examples and explain what multiplying integers is. Then we're going to show some examples and explain what dividing integers looks like. And then we're going to practice, give you a little bit of practice time. Let's get right into it. Multiplying integers. First off, an integer means numbers that are both positive and negative. So we are talking about multiplying positive and negative numbers together. Um, this is the general rule that you'll see a positive times a positive gives you a positive, negative times a negative gives you a positive. A negative and a positive gives you a negative, and a positive times a negative gives you a negative. Again, this works with multiplying. This is not the rules with addition and subtraction, so please don't get those ones confused. A lot of people do. Um, but this is a rule for multiplying. And a nice and easy way to think about it in terms of a bad guy and a good guy in your house. It's kind of weird, but don't worry. It'll make sense in just a second. A good guy coming to your house or adding to your house, right, is a good thing. However, a uh, bad guy leaving your house is also a good thing. You see where this is going? Hopefully, um, because if a good guy leaves your house, that might be considered a bad thing. If you were in a zombie apocalypse or something. Um, and if a bad guy comes to your house, that would be considered maybe a bad thing. So that's just one way to think about all of these put together. The positive times a positive is a positive, negative, negative is a positive, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick math question with this expression, 4 times negative 3 times 6 times negative 2. The parentheses around the negative number is just to separate them, keep them separate so you're not thinking it's times minus 3, it's times negative 3. So we'll start off with multiplying 4 times negative 3. A positive times a negative gives us a negative. Everything else stays the same. We just multiplied the positive times a negative and got our negative answer. Now we're going to multiply negative 12 times positive 6. A negative times a positive will also give us a negative result, negative 72. Now we have negative 72 times negative 2, which gives us a positive 144. We end with a positive number. And that is basically what you do for multiplying integers. Now a shortcut that you might see and notice is that if you count the number of negatives that you're multiplying, like there's 1 and there's 2, if it's an even number of negatives, like this, a negative and a negative, it's going to end up being positive if it's an even number. If it's an odd number of negatives, you'll end up having a negative answer at the end. Right. Now let's look at dividing integers. Integers mean numbers, both positive and negative. We've seen that before. A positive divided by a positive gives us a positive. Negative divided by negative. This is really looking familiar. Did I just copy and paste that entire slide? Come on. Um, so I guess we're going to think of this in terms of a bad guy and a good guy. Oh, okay. I guess, um, I changed things up here. I changed it into a bad cat and a good cat sleeping in your house. All right. So if a good cat is staying at your house, it's a good thing. If a bad cat is leaving your house, it's a good thing. A negative and a negative is a positive. If um, a good cat's leaving your house, it's a sad thing. And if a bad cat is spending the night at your house, it's a bad thing. They'll tear your house to pieces. Okay. So it's basically the same rule. In case you didn't notice that, it is exactly the same rule for multiplying as it is for dividing. Again, this is the rule for multiplying and dividing. It is not the rule for adding and subtracting. That is a totally different thing. Do not get them confused. So let's go ahead and try out some dividing of integers using similar um, example of what we did before. We're going to take 140 divided by negative 7. That will give us negative 20. Now we're going to do negative 20 divided by negative 5. That will give us a positive 4. And 4 divided by 2 leaves us with 2. Again, you can count the number of negatives in the original question, 1, 2, two negative numbers, 
and you'll know that if it's an even number, you end up with a, po um, a positive answer. If it's an odd number of negatives, you'll end up with a negative answer. Again, only with multiplying and dividing. So let's look at um, some practice problems. Go ahead and pause the recording and try and do this practice problem on your own. Are you back? Negative times a negative gives you a positive, and a negative times a positive, or positive times a negative gives you a negative. So I have uh, 2 times 1 is 2, and um, 2 times 2 is 4. Notice 1, 2, 3 negative numbers in my original question. The final answer is negative. An odd number of negatives will end up with giving you a negative answer. There it is. Three negatives at the top, negative answer at the bottom. Now it's time to do some division. Go ahead and divide these numbers. Pause the recording, see what you get. Welcome back. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Because it's a positive divided by a negative, our answer is going to be negative. Again, one negative in the question at the top. One is an odd number. Therefore, we end up with a negative answer at the end. Our final practice problem is going to mix some division and multiplication. Remember that the rules are exactly the same, so you can mix and match a little bit here. Go ahead and pause the recording. Try this one out on your own. Welcome back. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Negative 36 divided by 4 gives you negative 9. Now I have negative 9 times negative 2. And that gives me a positive. A negative times a negative gives me a positive. Negative 9 times negative 2 is, is positive 18. And then I'm going to go ahead and 18 divided by 3, 6 is, or 18 divided by 3 is 6, giving us our final answer of a positive 6. Again, you go up to the top. If it's all multiplying and dividing, you can count the number of negatives. There are two negatives. You're going to end up with a positive answer at the end because it's an even number of negative numbers. Let's talk about what we did today. We multiplied integers, we divided integers, and then we practiced. I hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.